All right, people. So I'm here with the top 10 finishers of 2013. Somebody requested me to do this video. So uh, yeah, I, I said it before. If you want to request a video, hit me up on Twitter at WWE Heel Punk or uh, comment in YouTube below. But the best way is probably on Twitter since I check that every day. I don't check my YouTube comments every day. So yeah, probably hit me up on Twitter is the best way. Um, so let's get started here in this list. And obviously it's only people from 2013. Um, so it won't be any, it won't, the, the star won't be on here obviously. So um, let's get this list started here. Number 10, the running knee by Daniel Bryan. I thought it's a good finisher. You know, it looks good. It, it, it uh, you know, it's, it doesn't, it's not like the best impact for a finisher, but it's like an athletic move. It takes skill to do it. And it looks pretty cool, so that's why it gets uh, number 10. Number 9, the Tombstone Pile Driver by uh, Undertaker. It's pretty much the only move where you see somebody get dropped on their head. I mean, Kane does it every once in a while, but, you know, it looks cool. I, I guess I'll put Kane on the list, too. Undertaker and Kane, Tombstone Pile Driver. So that's why it's number 9. I mean, it's cool to see somebody get dropped on their head, and it's sort of stupid how the, you can't do a fucking Pile Driver anymore. Uh, like, they know what the fuck they're doing in the ring. I mean, they've done pile drivers in the Indies so they can do it in WWE. I mean, WWE wrestlers are supposed to be the best of the best. So if they can do them in the Indies, why can't they do them in WWE? I mean, I think they should be able to do them as long as they know how to do them and how to do them safely. But yeah, number nine, the Tombstone. Number eight, Sister Abigail by Bray Wyatt. I mean, it looks pretty brutal. It looks high impact. I just like it, you know. It looks pretty good and shit. Um... So yeah, number eight is uh, Sister Abigail. Number seven is the Shield Triple Power Bomb. Uh, you know, it, I don't think I've ever seen it before. It's unique. It looks, you know, brutal. It's just a cool move, you know, cool triple trio move, whatever you want to call it. So number seven is the Shield. Number six, the RKO. As much as, as much as I hate fucking Orton, uh, the RKO is a pretty cool move. Sort of copied off a of DDP's finisher. But, uh, I mean, still the RKO is still a pretty cool move to see. Number five, the GTS. Copied off of Kenta by CM Punk, but it still looks cool. Credit goes to Kenta, though, not Punk. Um, and I heard Punk say, like, oh, you know, I, I, I kept the name of the move, you know, to, to pay honor to Kenta. He should have just said it in an interview or something. Yeah, you know, I didn't steal Kenta's move. It's his move. Credit goes to Kenta. You know, it wasn't well publicized that Kenta was the creator of that move. But, you know, it, it, it is a cool move. I like it. It's creative. And then, yeah, number five, the GTS. Number four, the F5. Pretty cool move by Brock Lesnar, especially when he did it on the big show with Mark Henry. It looks cool. It looks like it hurts. And, yeah, it's just a, another it's a move I enjoy. Number uh, three, the page tap out, otherwise known as like, I think, like an inverted scorpion death lock. I mean, it's a cool move. It looks like it hurts, and it's, you know, pretty original. I don't think I've ever seen it uh, before. So, yeah, number three is the uh, page tap out. Number two, uh, Adrian Neville's finisher. It's like a corkscrew shooting star press. Very cool move. It looks, you know, awesome. It's, uh, you know, if you haven't seen it yet, because I, Neville hasn't been on the main roster, go check it out. It's a pretty awesome finisher. And number one, and I know this isn't a finisher, but I'm sure he's used it a few times to finish off the match. The European uppercut by Cesaro, where he, you know, like, tosses his man in the air, and boom, it's him with an uppercut. It looks brutal move. It, he throws a guy, like, so far in the air sometimes. It looks fucking awesome. I remember the one time where he was facing Sami Zayn, and, you know, Zayn was going for the, uh, like a DDT, and, you know, right before Zayn hit the ground, Cesaro caught him, and I, like, this was in the NXT match, the first NXT match they had, and he was, like, wobbling him, running around the ring, and he, you know, like, it looked like he was going to fall, but Cesaro was just so damn strong, he, you know, he finally, you know, gained his balance, stood there and then like squatted him up and just launched him so far in the air and just nailed him with the fucking uppercut. It was fucking awesome. And he's done that move, you know, where people like are jumping on the top rope and he hits them. It looks cool. It looks awesome. It's a great move. He should use it as finisher, but he uses the neutralizer as his finisher, which, not, which isn't a horrible move, but the uppercut's much better. 
he, so there you go, people. Is my top ten finishers of 2013. Again, if you have a, if you have a, uh, you know, finisher that you like that was on this list, comment below if you agree with me. You know, let me know what's your favorite finisher, whatever. You know, I'm always encouraging people to comment on my videos, negative or positive. If you if you agree or disagree, comment. I don't care. You know, I'm just wondering what you guys' opinions are. You know, I'm my opinion is not the only one that matters. Everybody's opinion matters equally. So uh. There you go, people. There's your fucking uh, list.